What's up, boys? Welcome to the second episode of the little mini-series on MLB The Show 18. Just wanted to show you guys Cameron Bats, Billpin Archibald, and one more player, I believe it is. Yes, Harrison Mann. Those three guys are going to be the only ones not playing at all because they're in single A. So we move on into the postseason for the minor leagues. There you can see Colin Mentor going one for six uh, in game number one. In game number two, he pinch hit, and he did not get a hit. So batting 142 so far in his first postseason. Now we move on to the next game where we see that he pinch hit again and again did not get a hit. So now batting 125 in this series. And then in the closeout game, which his team would lose, Colin would go 2 for 5 with an RBI, a walk, and a strikeout, bringing his average to 230 for the series. So not too great for him, but he was able to at least pick up an RBI in an 11-7 loss. Moving on, we have the Norfolk Tides and the Rochester Red Wings, I think it is. And that is what we're looking for. The Red Wings have Ekstrom, and he went 1 for 4 to start his series off with a 250 average. Then there is Allen, uh, the second baseman, and he did not hit. He was playing for defensive purposes basically so no hits for him on no at bats moving on to the second game of the series and it is ekstrom did not get in that game for rochester for norfolk allen got in and again he did not hit a defensive player much better defensively than hitting wise i guess vran haxon got in for Rochester and he got the save. So there you go. Both playing on the same team, Ekstrom and Haxon teaming up. Norfolk Allen again, not too much for him going on. And then we look here and Ekstrom did not get a chance to get in the game. And did Haxon? Yes, he did his second save of the series is going to help his team. And now looking again, Norfolk, there's Allen. He went 0 for 1. Not good. So he can't even get a hit in the small opportunities he's getting. And then no play for Ekstrom. And Haxon did not get in that game. Then we look here as Norfolk takes the series. And Allen again does not get an opportunity to hit. He does steal a base though. Uh, so he must have pinch ran or something. Ekstrom gets in the game. He goes one for three with a run scored, a walk and a strikeout. So he batted like 280 or something, it said there. And Haxon, Haxon? No, Haxon shouldn't have pitched because they lost. And he did not. So Norfolk will move on and we'll see how Allen does coming up shortly. Looking back at more first round action. Marty McBombers for the Biloxi Shuckers. As you can see what he really did there. Wasn't too special. And then we look here. McBombers again. One for four again. This time with a walk and a strikeout. So batting 250 so far is Marty McBombers. And then getting swept. Let's see what McBombers would do here. He would go one for five. So only bat at 230 on the series. Not too great. And his team would be bounced. So Norfolk would move on and they would lose game number one. Allen again does not get into it. He was a defensive sub once again. So nothing doing there. Then they would win 9-7. to seven. Did Allen finally do something? Did he get a hit? And the answer is no. So no hits on no real at-bats. And then in the next game, again, he would play... And he would actually get an at-bat, and he would not get a hit in that one either. So, again, making no real strides on any opportunities. And he would go 0 for 1 again in a win. And then in the big pivotal game, he would actually get a hit, and they would lose. That's crazy. He actually got his first hit of the entire postseason. 
and they still lose Game 5 to Columbus. So the Columbus Clippers are your champs there in AAA. Brad Givens, the only guy to play Major League Ball. There's his stats, 2-8 and eight with a 4.57 ERA. Was it too early to bring him up? Maybe. Now we're looking on the next season, 2020, and Jacob Allen, who was in the AAA final last year, is not going to have a chance to be there this year because he's on the DL. So is Alex Lynch, shortstop of the Northwest Arkansas Naturals. He's going to be out six-plus months with that torn Achilles. So now we're looking at guys that are in the playoffs, and we have Bryce Barber going three for seven in this game. Very nice hitting by him, but they would lose game number one. Uh, now in game number two, they would get the win. Where are you at, Barber? No Barber. All right, so Barber did not play in that one, and they get the win. Now we will see where you at, Barber. No Barber. Wow, okay, so he goes three for seven, which isn't terrible. And uh, they don't put him back in at all. Yep, they gave him no more chances the rest of the series, and they will lose the series. Now we move on. Gwinnett Stripers have Kazmir on their team, and he went one for five in his first playoff game. And then the second playoff game, he wouldn't get a chance to play in it. Dang, what is with these 50-50 platoon things? All right, I guess that's the new wave, the 50-50 platoon. And he's not going to get a chance in that game either. Where you at? Where you at? There's Kazmir. He DH'd. He went one for four. So batting 222 in his minor league playoff career. There's Kazmir again. He would play second base. He went one for four with a run, so he also had an error in the field. Well, he's not a second baseman. He's a third baseman, but that, that would be why. And now we're looking at Oklahoma City versus Nashville. We got Marley Bowman in Nashville. He would go 0 for 3, but scored two runs. So good eye. Good eye getting walks and being able to get on base. That is important. Now we'll look again. He didn't play in that game. Would he play in this one? No. What is with this play game one and don't play for like a long time? I don't understand. Now we'll go to Nashville. Nope. Didn't play in that one either. But the Nashville Sounds would move on. So the only game that Marley did play in, Nashville lost. Uh, looking at Northwest Arkansas now. Obviously, uh, we looked and we know that uh, Alex Lynch will not be playing in this series. So I don't really know why I'm looking for him. Is that what I'm doing in this? I don't know. This was recorded a really long time ago. But um, I hope I'm not looking for him. If you guys see somebody else that I should have been looking at, let me know. But I'm pretty sure I'm looking for Alex Lynch, even though he had no chance of playing in this series. There's Northwest Arkansas once again. Yeah, I don't see anybody coming to mind. And I'm thinking I was thinking that Lynch wasn't playing. But you know what? His boys went out and won a championship without him. So he's going to get a minor league ring for being on the DL. So congratulations, Alex. First person to win something. Now we move on. Nashville again. There is Bowman. One and one for three he goes with a run scored. So I'm sure he'll take that. Moving on to the next game. Bowman. Give him a chance. Nope. No shot there for Bowman. Now we move to the next, the third game. And Bowman is not a part of it. So again, he got to play game one. Hasn't played the next couple games. Does he play in this one? No, he does not. So 3-1 to one Nashville win. Brings it to another game. Bowman plays. He goes 1-5 for five with a run and an RBI and a strikeout. He's batting 181 for his playoff career. But he did hit a double 
an RBI double and a sa- oh no, he didn't hit an RBI double. He hit a double and then he hit a sacrifice fly. So Okay. And now for the championship and they will beat last year's champions, the Columbus Clippers, and Bowman is not a part of that one game championship. All right, but Bowman is going to get himself a championship. So two guys winning championships in 2020. Very good productive episode. Now I just want to show you guys the dudes that are actually in the majors because that's important. Uh, Givens went 12-10 and 10 this season with a 455. So ERA doesn't get too much better, but at least he got some wins under his belt, and that's important. Now, another guy who played in the majors this year a little bit, Vran Haxon. He went 1-3 and three with a 2-save showing and a 354 ERA. Only pitched 68 innings, but he got some major league experience. Then for the White Sox, Justin Jones. Moved to a 74 overall. He hit himself 16 homers and 59 RBIs and batted 243. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all on the next episode.